Resplendence is uh, by my company, Angus Sereni Double Tap. Double Tap have been, we've been making work since 2000. This work's uh, explored elements or aspects of masculinity, where we live in a world controlled by a capitalist white fellow-centric patriarchy and not one of us is immune from the insidious demands of such a system of control. That might sound heavy. <laughs> and take two. The work we're trying to make is to find a way through that morass. Resplendence is a cross between the Dylan Thomas poem, Do Not Go Gentle Into That Good Night, and the film Taxi Driver by Martin Scorsese. That's what we're aiming for. It sounds good, doesn't it? The piece is essentially about a man in a room and the world is coming at him. All the good, the bad, the ugly. The process of making this show has been completely abnormal. It feels very risky. That's completely off the wall in terms of how we would normally make a show, but I'm doing this for the very simple reason that I'm wanting it to respond in a way that's really fresh to me. You know, a, a working title's been Sex, Drugs, Rock and Roll. You know, sex being the trade in humans, drugs being the trade in drugs, rock and roll being the trade in weaponry. And I'm looking at that, been looking at that in terms of the desires of humans, you know, the desire to rut, you know, the desire to remove yourself from reality, the drive, the desire to kill other people, to remove competition. So these sort of base human instincts, that's what we've been, you know, that's what I've been interested in. But now it's all coming together to this one point, and it is one man in a room facing his desires unmet. And five, four. Susie D, Mark Horwell, uh, Jethro Woodward, um, Andy Turner's doing the lights this time. Some great collaborators, and the it's a solo, but by no stretch is it um, by one person. The thing that I'm most excited about you know, embracing as part of Neon is the chance to present the work that I would make ordinarily to an entirely different audience alongside the audience that I know already would see my work. Like Neon last year, the thing that I found most exciting were, were, were the, was the foyer, essentially, with all sorts of different people, those who'd never been to the MTC, those who had only really ever been to the MTC. The joining of these, you know, this, this population, an audience who just enjoys seeing live theatre. That's truly the most exciting thing for me. And I would kind of want to f them up a little bit too, you know? Sorry. Right. Sorry. <laughs> um, I, you guys have to edit that. <laughs>